Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. Well, this month, we're going to talk paradoxically. We're going to talk about the loose and tight. You know, in leadership, we've been working in this area for many years. And the one thing that we've learned at Leading with Honor is that leadership is not easy. And in fact, leadership is not always intuitive. If we go with our talents, our best strengths, that's very important in most everything we do. But there's a point in leadership when doing more of what we do well gets us in trouble. So how can we learn to adapt? We talk a lot about the loose, tight relationships, the responsibility of leaders to be able to be both loose and tight, to walk both sides of the street at the same time. Leadership involves living in tension. So it's not for everybody. And in fact, It takes a lot of humility as well a lot of confidence to do both to walk both sides of the street so let's talk about this a little bit more in your basic job you're there hopefully because of your talents and our assessments we've been using assessments we've developed our own over the last 30 years and revised them and made them better and better but we know that our assessments are very very accurate but we tell people In specific situations, your talents are going to be exactly what you need. So that part is a tight part, using your best talents for doing specific work. But as you get into leadership, you have to learn to adapt and to do things that are not your talents. You have to have learned behavior. And there is the challenge of being loose and tight. Yes, we are talented, but we also must be able to be loose enough to adapt. We talk about our results relationship balance and how, yes, we have to focus on tasks and get results, but we also have to take care of people. And really, we're in business because one or the other of those is not very natural to most people. They have to learn to adapt and do it. And that's where we come in. One, to give the assessment so they can see which way their tilt is toward results or relationship, and then learn how to adapt to be a more a broader, more better equipped leader to doing both, walking both sides of the street. You know, I like to talk about leaders can come from any profile with any traits. You can be a great leader. If it's character based and you're willing to grow and learn, you can be a great leader regardless of what your traits are. I like to use the example of Thomas Jefferson and John Adams. Their list of attributes and accomplishments is a mile long, but their personalities, their natural traits, their natural behaviors are opposite. And it really makes the point so well. We have a slide we use in our training to show you their accomplishments and also their differences. And you can see they're just opposite. And I love the book by David McCullough about, it's the title of it is uh, John Adams, but it's all about Adams and Jefferson. And he does such a fabulous job of sharing their different behaviors and how they are so different. And yet they work together, then they became political enemies, and then they came back together and had long-term respect for each other. So let's talk a little bit more deeper about you as a leader having to do both. You have to be bold and you have to be cautious. You have to be strong. You have to be vulnerable. You have to be strategic and you have to be tactical. There's so many opposites that leaders have to do, and that's what makes it so difficult. But when you learn to adapt and you learn to see the situation as it is and not the way you want it to be, to understand yourself, once you understand yourself and what your talents are and what your struggles are, then you see that you have to learn to adapt in your areas of struggle. Now, I mentioned the two presidents. I've worked with generals, four-star generals that are opposites. One of them is a very people-oriented guy by nature. The other one is a very results-oriented person by nature. But they both had learned to adapt the relationship one to be tougher when he needed to be tough, and the results-focused one to be more people-oriented when he needed to be. That's what it takes. That's why we say loose tight. Yes, tight in terms of what your talents are, but loose in terms of your ability to adapt to the situation to be more effective. The question is, do you know who you are? 
Do you know what your talents are? Do you know what your leadership tilt is toward results, relationship, mission, or people? And then do you know how to adapt? And do you have the courage to adapt? You see, it takes a lot of courage to make those adaptations. If I could say one thing, it's to get more courage. We offer a courage card. We talk about it. Lean into the pain of your doubts and fears to do, to do what you know is right. When you do that, you can gain that balance and you can walk both sides of the street. You can be loose and tight and know when each is the one that's appropriate for the situation. I hope that you will think about this and apply it in your life and it will make you the leader that you want to be, a person who leads with honor. See you next month.